Hey everyone, Dave from GetKombucha.com with, uh, with another free video on and regarding kombucha. This video is all about the wonderful world of fruit flies or vinegar flies. If you've been brewing kombucha for a while, I know that you know what I mean. Okay, so um, before we get started, a few things. Thank you very, very much to everyone out there that's been checking out the videos. Um, I really do appreciate it, and I would definitely encourage you guys to keep them coming, but instead of emailing myself or sending messages, just post them on the comments down below. If you're asking this question, chances are there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of people out in the internet world that have that same question and would could, uh, could benefit from my response or other people's responses. The whole point of these videos really is to encourage a community um, where everyone's participating. So if you have a question, if you have a comment, if you just like my shirt and want to tell me that, um, mention it on the actual video. Um, and this way everyone could benefit. And I'll start wearing the shirt more often. This is a paper funnel, but more importantly, this is actually a funnel used to fill your uh, oil up in your car. Who would have thought our, our car and oil could uh, help with kombucha brewing? If you go to any gas station anywhere, chances are they have a bunch of these and they'll just give them to you for free. Free is good. Um, this will act as a funnel for our kombucha vinegar fruit fly trap. Okay, and all we need to do is simply have a little bit of kombucha. I know it's hard, but resist drinking all of it because you want a little bit left. Use the sound effect however you want. I like Okay. And um, there you go. Very simple. Kombucha fruit fly trap. You want to set this next to your kombucha tea. Now, as always, we're covering our kombucha if you're home brewing with a breathable um, fabric. So the culture can breathe, but the fruit flies aren't going into it. So what's going to happen is the fruit flies, they're going to probably go to your kombucha because there's more kombucha in your brewing. Then they're going to be like, one of his buddies is going to be like, hey, it's open over here. You know, the back entrance, it's unlocked. Let's go in. Fruit flies go in, but they don't go out. If you don't have one of these, it's too hard to have, or you just really like your glasses and you don't want to give one up for this, this is what you can do, okay? You can make your own. And I'm going to show you, it literally takes 10 seconds, okay? So time me. Here we go. Don't start yet. Don't start yet. You have an uh, empty water bottle. Drink the water. It's always good to hydrate before you do uh, creative arts and crafts. And simply cut about two thirds of the way up. Okay. How am I doing on time? Six seconds? All right. This is now your funnel. Goes in top. Take some tape. it on. Pour some kombucha in. So basically, we're giving the fruit flies what they want, right? Fruit flies want kombucha, so we'll give them kombucha. So that's how you get set the trap. You could also use a piece of banana. Um, you could use wine. Um, anything that's vinegary. You could actually just use apple cider vinegar and um, some honey in there as well. But I found the easiest thing is just you know, go to the source. So MacGyver, look out, I'm gunning for you. Kombucha fly trap on the, dare I say, fly. And uh, stay tuned to part two. We have two other ideas to uh, help with the fruit fly problem. Thanks again, guys. Uh, keep checking out the videos. Again, if you like it, please rate it. There's a star thing down below on the video. And also leave a comment, pretty please, with extra sugar, um, that would be converted for kombucha food. That's a kombucha joke on top. Okay, take care.